A real city girl makes you a hoe. Ow, city girl, city girl, summer, whatever, we gonna turn up. I just don't think you guys have what it takes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you have been monitoring me, you know I've been gone for like a month. And oh, I say this all the time, I say I'm gonna fix up and be frequent with videos and then I disappear. This is the longest I think I've disappeared in ages, like probably like a year now. I have been studying all year round so hard. So I think this month that I've had to just detox and just relax, I think it has helped me. We go and get you guys some good content. I'm already planning stuff with my friends. I promise this summer for the tiny weeny bit that we've got left, I'm going to make sure that you guys enjoy my content. So this video is a bit different. As you can see by the title, it is about city girls and popular opinions. Now, I don't know for sure that these are unpopular opinions. Please don't take this seriously. If you do, then you're a weirdo and you really need to like get some thicker skin because if you claim to be a city girl, don't get offended, okay? So, if you don't know what a city girl is, I'm going to get up the definition. Oh. This one's, okay, this one is a full-on Urban Dictionary one. So, city girl, top definition. A girl who has been hurt over and over again by boys or men, and now she does not care about boys or their feelings. She is not a hoe or a whore, questionable. Just do not care about who she hurts or how she did it. She does not believe in falling in love because of her past relationships with men. If boys can do, why can't girls? We can just do it better and have no guilt or remorse behind it. The thing about being a hoe or a whore, um, I I don't know if if that's true. Personally, being a city girl, a real city girl makes you a hoe because you just go around doing anything you want with any boy, talking to any boy, not caring about who you hurt in the process. In my opinion, that's a hoe because let's talk about double standards here. If a boy did the same, he'd be a player. I'm just I'm just trying to I'm just trying to level the the playing ground we have here. So yeah, this has become a trend. Girls want to have this lifestyle. Girls will scream city girls and also the trend now is city girl summer. Ow, city girl, city girl summer, summer whatever, whatever. We gonna turn up. Now if you don't know about summer and seasons and when it comes to what you do with men and relationships, summer is usually when you hoe out, I guess. You don't really care about who you chat to. And then in the winter, it's like cuffing season and you want to have a man relationship. And I can't lie, I'm a little bit guilty. I'm a little bit guilty of screaming City Girl Summer. But it's just catchy, you know? Um, but I don't mean it. Let's just put it out there. I am not a serious candidate for City Girl Summer, but there are some people who do take it more seriously than others, and that is a bit questionable. So the first one is, when the sun sets, it's just you and your thoughts, you cry from being lonely. This is probably the most prominent one out of all of them. Let me just get it straight. You wish that you had a man. You do wish you had a man. You're trying to make everyone believe that you are okay. But you are not, girl. You're just trying to deal with the fact that you're single. And I think that is a big part. City girls, people have like put city girl summer as a replacement for just being single. If you're single, it doesn't make you a city girl. You just haven't found a man. So the next one is, is none of you even had the courage to be a hoe. You couldn't chat to more than one boy. I mean, I know I couldn't when I was screaming it. So this is just first hand experience here. You guys are half hearted city girls. Mostly it's all mouth, mostly it's all mouth, okay. The third one is, why can't you be a city girl all year round, not just summer? I know that when it gets to winter, you guys will be feeling it. You guys will be wanting to be cuffed. Cuffing season is around the corner. Pretty much only have one more month left of city girl summer. I know what the heat does to these people. It gives them some sort of leverage on others and they feel the need to act up. <laughs> we all know that you couldn't carry it on all year round. And we know that you ain't even carrying it on properly anyway. Um, the fourth one is being a hot girl is more classy than being a city girl. Now if you don't know what a hot girl is, if you don't know who Megan The Stallion is, then you're missing out. She has created this whole slogan, Hot Girl Summer. Um, it's like kind of become more popular than City Girl Summer now, I think because like City Girls, not that it's old, everyone still listens to City Girls, but let's be real now. One of them is pregnant and one of them is in prison, so 
I guess we can't really act up anymore. A hot girl is someone who just enjoys their life their summer. Um, they're just having a good time, the life of the party, that kind of thing. It's not really like being a hoe. And also, personally, I think you can have a hot girl summer whilst not being single. You can have a man and still have a hot girl summer, but I don't technically think you can have a city girl summer and be in a relationship. Cause that would make you a real hoe. You'd be cheating on your boyfriend, oh my goodness. The next one is just cause you know act up the song does not make you a city girl people will scream the first segment of that song and just go around calling themselves a city girl they just compare listening to that kind of music to replicating that lifestyle but they're not even replicating it they're just claiming they replicate it this is what social media does you can literally create a personality on social media that does not reflect your real life personality like we all know that you cry about men every day but on your twitter it says different next one is city girls are the <laughs> city girls are the same people that will be tweeting asking who's taking them to winter wonderland i am ready if you see me at winter wonderland this year don't ask any questions everyone will be wanting to go but they've been hanging out all summer so now they have no opportunity because everyone's been seeing what they've been posting and now no man wants you next one hmm <laughs> city girls will claim they have more points than city boys but text a man is this what you wanted from me huh I don't even think I have to explain that. I feel like a boy can do something with a girl and feel no way. Can cheat on a girl and feel no way. But girls, they get emotionally attached. I just don't think you guys have what it takes. City girls are the same girls that will be posting must be nice memes on their story. I see it all the time. I see you guys streaming city girls somewhere and then posting must be nice. Mood right now with like a girl and a boy kissing like which one do you want? You have to decide. You can't just be both. You have to choose. You need to sit down, make a pro and con list of having a man versus not having a man. Boot up summer, city girl summer. This one will probably hurt a lot of girls. So, you lot screaming city girls will just drive men even further away because clearly you're not ready for a relationship. So see when I said about Winter Wonderland? See when I said no one want to take you? Because you've been acting up all summer. And now no one wants you because you have been taken for a mug. You have been doing it all wrong for months. It doesn't make you a strong independent woman because you put other boys down. So the next one is the whole city girls vibe is just a coping mechanism for men are trash. When you have an opportunity to take back what men have taken from you, you do the same but possibly worse. Like you make it a big thing. I don't really know where you guys think you're going with this but... We back at photo booths. Should I turn the lights on? Cause I missed out a whole segment in this. So basically I missed out a whole section that I was supposed to talk about. I think I got overexcited. This is the one that says, you're all throwing a tantrum and screaming act up cause being booed up last summer didn't work out. We all know that you wanted to be booed up. We all heard you singing, Ooh, I'll never get over you. And now, your act up, you get snatched up. Like, sorry that you didn't want you last August. <laughs> There's no need to switch up like this. Wow, you know how, like, it's crazy how much music influences our lifestyles. Like, if City Girls came out last year, we'd be singing City Girls for a whole year now. Like, everyone wants to be a city girl, but last year everyone wanted to be booed up. That's crazy. Music really does influence everything. This is why you just got to be your own person because people just be getting overhyped and trying to follow trends. And it ain't cute, girl. Just do you. Okay. Anyway, back to the video. Now, this one, I think I've kind of hinted at it throughout. Um, but the real city girls get hate. You guys are, as I said, half-hearted city girls. The real city girls who go out doing the things that you claim to do on social media are being called hoes by the same half-hearted city girls. If you don't approve of a real-life city girl, why are you calling yourself a city girl? Rappers, Cardi B, city girls, Nicki Minaj kind of, just like those kind of rappers, the female rappers, whatever. All of us were like, oh my gosh, they are a strong, independent woman and they don't care about anyone. We just love them. They're so bad and cool. We, 
I just, I stand, you know, I stand it. But yet, a non-famous, ordinary girl comes along and does the exact same things that were in those lyrics. We hate on them. That doesn't wait up. You girls love to call girls hoes and whores and all the other synonyms under the sun. But yet your fave is doing that on a regular basis, but yet you stan it. So do I have to rap now in order to be a hoe and it be appreciated? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't really make sense. And I don't know if I'm gonna get hate for this, but I'm ready. You should be praising the girls that go out and be hoes and take men, take your man. If someone takes your man, they are following what City Girl said. So you should clap, you should clap for them. Next one is we all know what you listen to right now. Ellie has told me how to say her name, but I don't know how to say it. Jane Aiko. Jane Aiko. We all know you listen to Adele on the down low. We all know you listen to Broken Hearted Girl by Beyonce. You can't just keep up this persona forever. Just open the door, let us in. Let us into your soul, let us help you, you know? Us girls, us Jane Aiko, however you say her name, girls, are here to help. We know that you've been hurt. We know that you want a man, but you don't know how to show it. We can help you. Don't treat other girls catching genuine feelings as a weakness, because we all know you want the same. People will be putting up, I think I'm catching feelings for this boy, and people will be like, don't do it, don't do it. Why? Why can't I do it? All my friends are just turning for boys. I've got to carry the rest of the team, because I'm a real life city girl. So that concludes the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll be posting a lot more. I have a lot more videos planned. Um, I'm going to try and make the most of the summer for the little bit that I have left. I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.